Hi everybody and welcome to a new update from Keith and Paula's Pond Build. Um, I apologise for any shaky footage because I'm not using the gimbal. I've decided to bin that off because it just doesn't play ball. So um, I'm holding it at the moment and I just thought that um, we've got quite a lot done since I last posted, um, was it last week or the week before, I can't remember because uh, I've been so busy, um, but basically uh, this week's update is basically going to be more about the filter house, what keys stood out there and um, how we've got it all connected up and how we're planning to connect everything up um, moving forward he's done a lot of work out there i've been out there in the garden hence the hair being tied back keeps the hair out my eyes and so i can see what i'm doing um and what else so i've got a list which um this keith doesn't like being on camera um i'm not too fussed <laughs> So he's just out there tidying up at the minute as to what he's been doing. Um, and then I've got a list to go through as to what's what in the filter house. Um, and I'll show you the gardening that I've been doing. Not really exciting, is it? But I've filled up two big brown bins of like... Luckily it is brown bin week this week. So uh, Wednesday they'll be empty and I can fill them up again great um so we've got so i apologize for any noise in the background by the way um it's just some stuff being chucked out on the filter house it sounded like um it's keith's birthday tomorrow so if anybody can remember this time last year bloody hell that's like flown by um the artwork on the back of the pond with the rising sun and the two koi and the flower the lotus flower um i've still got happy birthday on the back of that in the, which is in the filter house which is uh, quite relevant so uh in it, i will talk about what he's had for his birthday and what he's getting because he does know so it's no surprise um I'm just waiting to be paid from a few things as to when I can order that. Um, but um, yeah, so we've got quite a lot done. Um, it has been raining, unfortunately. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we've not got as much done as we wanted to do as of yet. Apologies for that hand. Um, because the weather's just been pants so we've been limited to what we can do from uh, a weather perspective and just how it is isn't it great british weather not much can be done about that um so yeah i'm gonna spin you around or, well, I'm not going to spin you around. I'm just going to flip the camera to show you from the other view. Because you'll get a better view. Um, and then um, I'll see if I can capture any of the new koi that I've purchased. Um, and I did briefly mention them in my last update. But um, Mark's Country Koi, I got three koi from him. I got a actually i've got it written down because i can't remember so i have and if and i do apologize if i get this pronunciation wrong because i'm so not um up with the uh japanese or chinese lingo but i've got a, a butterfly koi who is absolutely stunning, absolutely really made up with that. 
um, we've called it Mohammed and that is from Ifuchi or it could be Ifuki I'm not quite sure it's spelt double O F U C H I um, and I've also got a, a little Karashagoi from the same dealer um, and breeder and they are just eating everything that goes in the pond they're the first ones up and they're, they're just like brilliant they really are i also got a little yamaguki ogon who we've called or i've called el twato because he kept jumping out the pond who's in um that oh no you can't see it till i flip it around there's a tank uh over behind me I'll, I'll flip the camera around in a minute and show you you might not be able to see him because there's no light on it i bought this aquarium off marketplace i'm not overly thrilled with the quality of it to be fair but it is what it is um and that's from i believe marisai if that's pronounced correctly um and it's slightly smaller than the butterfly and the Koresha Goy. So Mark's Country Koi uh, is based down south so anybody uh, I would highly recommend you have a look him up because he's got some awesome Koi. Um, another dealer where I bought one of Keith's birthday presents from because he wanted a Chagoy and I bought him a, a gym ring Chag um, I, I think it's 40 centimetres but it doesn't it doesn't look 40 centimetres I've not actually measured it because I never measure any of my fish um, and he is absolutely stunning I will try and get um, him on camera if I can and then we've got a little I can't remember what it is and, I, it, and the only way I'm going to find out is to stop the video and go into my Facebook uh, messages to find out but um, and I don't really want to do that right now so I'll find out and put the text in here as to what that is it's a little yellow uh, yellowy orange goldy um, thing and he's, be he's beautiful but we've called um, well Keith always names the fish after he's had a Stella um, and he does come up with some good names to be fair well we've called the um, Chagoy Tango because he's very orange in the night time when the lights are on and because we got the little one at the same time which was one uh, which we're proper chuffed with because um, he's a right little happy thing swimming smallest fish in the pond but he's like swimming around like my god it's amazing um, so um, we've called him Cash so Tango and Cash um so yeah we've got the five new ones um we did unfortunately lose some uh you will see that from the last update but joys and heartbreak and all that that's how it is so i'm just going to pause this and then i'm gonna make a drink and go into the garden and show you um, the filter house and talk you through the notes um, about what's what and what's connected to what and how it's all working and the plans and everything before it gets dark so uh, back in a bit Okay, so here is um, El Twato. You really can't see him in here. Um, but I did buy these. Um, it's dried bloodworm pellets. He absolutely goes mental. Um, so I've just dropped some in. He goes absolutely <laughs> mental for them. He's awesome. He's wicked. Oh, and that's... Um, 
that's a little butterfly fish. Um, we got six little three to four centimeter, well, that one's six centimeters, I think, uh, butterfly from a place in Nottingham, which I will not recommend. I'm not going to name his shame, but basically, we've only got two of the two of the six left. Um, unfortunate as that is, there's Quint. He's the biggest koi in the pond. Well, you know memento. I just need to get my notepad. There's Tango. So that's the um, Jim Ring Chag I got from Colby Koi. Absolutely brilliant fish. He's got some stunning fish. He's based in Sheffield. I ideally need to find a dealer in the Midlands near us. Um, that is um, Mo Mohammed, the butterfly that we got from Mark's Country Boy. He's awesome. I say he, I'm guessing it's he. He is wicked, he's always up at the window. Quince actually becoming more from, um, friendly at the window. Uh, but yeah, here's Tango. He's beautiful, beautiful. So you can see how his gin rin, he just shines orange. So he just, uh, so hence his name is Tango. Um, I'm not quite sure where Cash is. Um, he flicks around because he is quite small. So. I'll just take you into the filter house and show you. Uh, actually, I need to pan back a little bit, I think, so you can just gauge the height of um, the filter house. Um, so we went, um, we got these roof trusses uh, from up near Wakefield actually, we got 10 for £150 off Facebook Marketplace which was a proper bargain because we've used some for, he's used some for in here and then the rest still used I'm not sure he's had a real good tidy up in here but the base is done um, still need to put a little bit of gravel or something down there <coughs> we've got some Jack mat in the uh, skimmer to stop any of the smaller fish coming in here. Well, we've only got the one really, who is Cash. The fairy pumps are there. At the moment, um, and there's his happy birthday for tomorrow, baby. Um, right, so from my notes, here at the moment, where the eBay 110 is and this book tub, <coughs> one of his birthday presents is going to be a Burton BD700 drum filter, which is going to sit there, which he's got all levelled out ready and measured out um, the levels for the heights and etc. <coughs> for the water, excuse cough, are all going to be there. So the BD700 is going to be there. It's going to have a, a 180 watt UV. I did speak to Andrew at Burton's and um, he seems to think that 180 watt UV will be enough and will be adequate. We can always add extra if need be. So, highly re recommend this company because the advice they give you and the customer service is um, second to none, um, to be fair ringing up on a Sunday when he should be doing what he's doing with his family and stuff. Um, really impressed. So, the basically, so the filter is going to be here where, where the broom is and then let me just get this right. So 
so that's going to be there. The bottom drains. So the two, they're two 30,000 litre vary pumps. Each one of those is going to go into, and they are currently on the left hand side here. They are currently, they will be moved over here, somewhere down here eventually. Um, but each one of those vary pumps will control the back showers. So we're having eight in total. So two, two back showers four levels each um, we probably only need one more box of uh, media back of house and BHM back of house media because what we've got on, on the pond at the moment on the side the media comes right to the top and we we'll probably only need it to come to here in each one so you've got that uh, flow that rainfall as the you know mimicking the rain and the mountain flow and stuff so each bottom drain comes through the drum into the very pumps and then through into each of these so there'll be eight in total eventually the lap with he set all these up today the last three are on the pond currently and um, being the filter in there is all mature and then we've got six returns from the uh, backy showers, five of which go into the returns which are in the pond around all four walls, giving a nice even flow. And then there's one which has got the ball valve on, which you can see there which um, goes into the moving bed which is here which is um, well it's just massive it's an old farmers thing I'm not exactly sure how many liters of water it or gallons of water is in there but we currently have 350 liters of k1 micro in that um, so that one return with the, the valve on it goes into heat um, connects to this moving bed so that means it's adjustable for air pressure so we can give it extra flow if we need to and we can reduce it down in the winter um, also which goes in here uh, is the skimmer goes through into the tempest um, which then goes into the moving bed and the overflow from the tempest then goes into this water butt so when this when he flushes when he flushes the tempest and cleans it it goes into here and it is just black and murky and full of poo and but we use that for nutrients for watering the plants and stuff eventually um so eventually you could try and picture this and, and I will come back and do updates as and when we do it but the vary pumps which are there on the left are going to go here where that they're going to go here somewhere the tempest will be over here just here and the water butt for the overflow is going to fit nicely in this corner so it will all be nice and neat and tidy um, for that so we've also built this bigger than originally planned it's taller a because we can store stuff up here now um, we've got all this floor once everything's like done and stuff we've got all this floor space these are all 7.3N dense blocks, what's underground. Anything above ground now is just going to be cladded. So we've got the windows there, so we've got some 
is got nice daylight in here. That's going there. The gardening and brambles I'll talk about in a sec when I go out there. Um, but then it's got all this area here uh for shelving and being able to keep equipment microscopes food um anything else like that and because of the size of it once it's um all cladded and insulated that's going to keep the noise down so hopefully we won't be annoying the neighbors um but yeah really um is worked is nads off um and done a great job um eventually as well uh one thing to mention is there will be a blade which um is across here going into the pond but it will be a gentle flow we don't want a gushing blade kind of thing um so it's all going really it's all going really well um the next project is obviously to um, get the retaining wall in all around here um, and then there's other plans to come out here which I'll talk about another time so I'm just gonna go for a walk up the garden So there's one of the brown bins I've actually filled up today. Um, Ness, <laughs> Ness, what are you doing? It's quite mental. You're going on a mad one, babies. You're going on a mad one. I had Star and Maggie out here earlier, and <laughs> Star was stood on that uh, mud pile looking out at the fields at the back, thinking, Whoa, my garden's grown. <laughs> but here, um, so, well, I'm, fill I'm basically putting it in that bag and then dragging that bag down and chopping it up and putting it in bin because it obviously needs to be able to clad this. Um, we're just going to wood clad it and then insulate it. We've got a damp proof membrane. Uh, there's lots and lots of stuff going on. My job is to clear down there. So, all this area here uh, needs clearing of brambles. All this has been cleared. These two front panels have been cleared. That was my job today. I will be keeping this bush, I think, because I do quite like this uh, jasmine and honeysuckle stuff. But if you can see these brambles here, it's just been a flipping nightmare with these brambles. Um, the roof... Um, so as you can see the back of showers, the top of it, let's see if I can do it without disturbing it too much. So just to get into the top, when we, when we get into the top, what we're going to do is have like a, uh, a large cat flap, <laughs> if you like, that lifts up. So we've got access to the back of showers from, from up here at the top of the garden. Obviously with the garden being sloped, we can do that. Uh, if that if the garden wasn't sloped, we'd need a big ladder. So that's uh, quite a bonus about having it sloped. To be fair, so yeah, that's where we are at the minute. Uh, he's got to still put in the glass for this window here and make sure it's waterproof. And then we've got a the next job for me is to order his uh, order the drum filter so we can get that sorted and then um, get some proper electrics you know rhino cable uh, proper circuit boards etc so if anybody knows of anybody and can recommend anybody who's not going to charge us a fortune to come and do some electrics and fit in um, from well, if you say where the back of the van is, because that's where where the door is that's open there, that's where our electric meter is. So from there, 
we need electric rhino cables to come over here under into the filter house with um, sockets and stuff for the filter house because everything's just on extension cables at the moment which isn't ideal um, the backy shower the last thing I want to end on is that backy shower over there oh you can't really see it from here it's a bit dark let me go down look how dirty that window is it's disgusting um, so that backy shower there they're the three um, le levels that need to go into the filter house um, we're not going to cover that up we're going to leave it we're going to leave it open but obviously we're jump guards so what we're thinking of doing is probably putting the bamboo over there um, these bamboo pots over there we need to keep it open so because if ever we need to catch a fish to treat um, we need to be able to access them with a pond this size you can appreciate catching fish in, in here is not going to be easy so yeah that's it really uh, really impressed with what he's done for the roof I mean I'm astounded by for someone who's never done anything like this before um, yeah it's brilliant um, and then once the retaining walls back in here then I'll get uh, Ben from P&D back with the digger to like all the tops gonna be level and flat and then we're gonna have a gradual slope still need to work out what to do around this area this needs to go um, but we need to think about it because that roof is actually um, sheet asbestos so you know it's stuff that there's stuff that's happened which we weren't quite anticipating getting rid of asbestos isn't cheap and things like that all this is going to be landscaped hot tub fire pit or maybe over maybe even over there I don't know yet so you know it's still work in progress but yeah really pleased with um, everything up to now um, so that's it thank you for watching do give us a like or um, please do drop us any comments um, if there's anything you want to know or anything you want to find out then please do ask um, but yeah, please subscribe and um, I'll see you in the next update. Thanks everybody.